I think patient-oriented research should always answer the question of who cares and not in a facetious way but literally like who does this research impact in what way is it going to impact them and how is that funding going to be used to make people's lives better. So when I think back to medical school, we were taught a lot about patient-centered care and how it's important, you know, to, to move from a place where historically doctors have been paternalistic making decisions for patients to a place where now when we see our patients, we're making decisions together and we offer our expertise and our understanding and patients offer theirs as well. I'm not the only one who knows how to figure out, actually don't know how to figure out the solution to this problem, but patient-oriented research, this project allows me to sit down with my patients, sit down with my patients and say, let's try to solve this problem together, please tell me what to do, what questions we need to ask, and let's see if we can improve the system for everyone else. Everybody on our team, and everybody on our team is bringing something unique to the table. And we know historically the voice of the patient, which is a really important voice and lots of experience and expertise there has been uh, really marginalized. So not only do we make sure that voice is at the table, but we try to make sure that that voice is even elevated. We were involved sort of in meetings initially, sort of talking about what, what this is going to look like and if we had any suggestions on how things could be improved. We were involved in sort of helping theme the, the uh, information coming out of the focus groups. Uh, we were involved in um, the development of the poster that Kathy presented um, in Switzerland. And both of our names are, are, are on that poster, which is kind of cool. I know I felt very listened to, very heard, very much a part of the process. Yeah, so as a researcher, I was a little bit reluctant to ask so much of our patients. And I think I've been so surprised at their willingness to engage with this process. Um, so we used to just meet with our patient partners twice a year and this patient group actually meets monthly and then even between sessions they get involved in doing different uh, projects. Um, so that's been surprising to me, just how involved they want to be. And then secondly, I kind of had the thought that they might find some of aspects of research boring and I really feel like they're engaged with the process and really enjoying it and actually as a result it's bringing our whole team together so everybody's enjoying the process a lot more. We really hope that we've developed two programs that are that are going to make a big difference in Saskatchewan. Um, so uh, we hope that it, there'll be benefits to patients in terms of reduction of symptoms, uh, improvements in quality of life. I also hope though that the project will be inspiring for other researchers in terms of um, how they might like to engage in patient-oriented research. I'm a Métis uh, woman from Northern Saskatchewan, Isla Cross, and I'm also a cancer survivor, five years in remission this, this year. And when I was struggling and going through my journey at the cancer centre, I saw the, the challenges my people were facing. I heard about the, the Indigenous Family Advisory, so I was invited to go and I attended and that was my first one so I just sat there and I listened. As I was sitting there listening, to, hearing what Dr. Groot and his team were saying, it's the same mandate that I wanted to accomplish. That's what I want to do. You have to be accepted in the community, you have to be trusted and you have to have partners, you have to have the community involvement, the Saskatchewan Health, the government, different agencies. You we must all work together to make this work. Communities and patients have unique 
perspectives that are different than uh, scientific experts, health professionals, and so on, which are, of course, very important for research. That voice of lived experience, of experience with a disease or a condition, and experience with the healthcare system that uh, can only come from that lived experience. So that's what's important for bringing that community engagement into research.